Fallout 4 is a game rated M by the ESRB. It's another beautiful day in the wasteland. Another beautiful day. Is that Brahmin losing its mind? Dear God. There's a Brahmin. That Brahmin down there, part of the care. It's. What? It's running. What is it doing? It's running around like a madman. That's a little odd. Why, why is it doing that? Codsworth? Oh, you're a Mr. Handy. Wait, we have a Mr. Handy? Nothing stays hidden forever. At least, not if I have my say. Whose Mr. Handy is this? Why is it here? Or is the Mr. Handy responsible for this caravan? Okay, there's more... More Brahmin... Okay, this thing is running like... I don't know what's happening. Hello. Welcome back to more Stephen Plays. Fallout 4. On the last episode, we took care of Curtain Call. Today, I asked you guys what we should do. It was kind of all over the place, but we had um, we had quite a few requests for Out in the Field and quite a few requests for Out of the Fire. And of the two, I think Out of the Fire might be the one I'd rather do because it is the oldest. But Out in the Field also sounds... It, it sounds really fun. It sounds interesting. I mean, it's it's got a baseball theme going on, and I think that'd be really cool. So I've decided, I've made the executive decision, we're going to do Out of the Fire. Now, if we toggle that, you can see on the map that it's actually really far away. So there's going to be a good bit of exploration today. Uh, okay, so we haven't even gotten there. So in order to get to that side of the map, we're going to have to do some traveling. The Museum of Witchcraft is up here. Still not real interested in seeing that. So we're probably going to discover a lot of stuff on the way there, which is cool. Have we discovered this? No, it's not solid. So we're going to have to actually... Oh my god. We'll be lucky if we get to Finch Farm today. But... I still want to. I still want to go do it. it. And honestly, it'll it'll be really cool because we'll actually get a chance to um, we we'll get a chance to get a lot of new locations. Just got to be careful because we're going to be out in the wasteland. I say that we go to Lexington, and then we start our very long journey over to the other side of the map, back in good old Lexington. Um, now my question would be, has the uh, I forget what the name of the Corvega. Has Corvega been retaken over by raiders? Although it doesn't really matter because we're not going to take the time to find out. It's not really important to us, so we're just going to avoid it. What the heck is this thing? Oh my god. Are you serious? Are you serious right now? <coughs> Get out of here! Oh hey, free stuff. It's come to life! Just an ounce of your innocent child's blood, and it comes to life. I can't get to it, but I can barely reach it from several feet away. Oh, come on. No. Got it. Of course, Sweet. as soon as I, uh... Oh, a yardstick. As soon as I put this bobby pin into, um... Into any other lock, it's going to stop functioning. It's gonna break. Anything else around? No, I don't think so. Uh, we're using Nancy right now. Just for the fact that Righteous Authority is completely out of the cells after last episode. Um, I think that was probably the best thing to do. They have less resistance to energy than they do other things. Even though Righteous Authority is not my most powerful weapon. I think it still worked out in the end. Either way, we we beat the quest, so I guess we're okay. Someone's around. It's definitely raiders. can hear... Some gunfire. Oh, yep, they're up there. Let's just take our time. Who's out there? That's one. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have we're gonna have a uh, a journey getting to Finch Farm. But the good news is, <laughs> Jesus. The good news is once we get. To where we're going, we're gonna have all of these places that we can fast travel to at any point. Still doesn't know where I am. Oh, jeez. There's other people around, but I'm not exactly sure where they are, but they still don't know where we are. There's like, where's that guy? What do you think that was? What was that? God, I'm still doing damage on this guy. It's great. 
Oh, he just... Oh, he stimpacked or something. Well, good for him. All right, we got things to do. Come on, Piper. I think they left. No, I don't think they left, but uh, I'm getting tired of dealing with them. So, let's do this. I had a lot of people tell me about the combat shotgun. We do have one. Just been waiting. Mystic Pines. What the crap is this? Just been waiting until we get uh, Gun Nut 3 to start using it. Because currently, we actually still do more damage. With uh, the double barrel shotgun. I know that there is some level of inconvenience because it can only shoot two shells. And the combat shotgun can kind of unload on people. But that's alright. We'll just hold off until we get to Gun Nut 3. Well, I don't know what we've... What we found here today. Yellow table lamp? Sure. Giddy up Buttercup head. I can already tell that we're going to be getting over encumbered before we ever get to where we're going. So what is this place? Mystic Pines. It sounds... The name sounds like a nursing home. And I mean, maybe that's what it was, but that's what it sounds like to me. It's a nursing home. Thing up here... Got some bathrooms. Looks like we've uh, gotten far enough away from the... Um, the raiders that they're not bothering us now, which is nice. Well, hello. Security gate. Now, security gate... Why would they have a security gate at the nursing home? Must not be a nursing home, because that seems... Seems a little odd. It's a little to the left there. Dang it. It's like right here. Yep. So this thing's open. So what do you got in here? Oh no, it could still be a nursing home because all that's in here is like pots and first aid. Eh, I'm still I'm going with my nursing home theory. Maybe there will be some something here that that tips us off. Beer bottle. Beer bottle. This, um. Or maybe this was a place for like botany or something. Of course, there's a lot of wheelchairs. I'm hold I'm holding on to my idea. I think I think nursing home. This thing's lit. I mean, that would indicate that people have been here not that long ago. Huh? Restricted area. Another lamp. I'll go in that restricted area in just a second. Okay, we got a toy car, toy truck. Changles. Once again, wheelchairs everywhere. That's really tipping me off. To this being a uh, a place for the elderly, a paint can. And why that person had a paint can is a little beyond me. We can open this, but there's nothing inside. Power relay coil. That seems important. And anything on this side? A chessboard. Yeah, this was this is definitely a place for the elderly. I do not know why I just took those slacks, but I did. Oh hey, tales of a junk town journey. Oh wow. Perfect. Permanently gain better prices when buying from a vendor. Well, that worked out quite well, and I've also got a lot of lamps. Is there anything out here on the porch? Um, not particularly. All right, let's uh, let's go in that door because that's uh, that's odd. Restricted area. Okay, why was it restricted? Get the sucker popped open. It's over here on the right. It's like here. There we go. That's it. Okay. So this is probably like employees only. Sure. We'll say it was employees only. So the question is what's down here? Uh, there's a coffin down here. That's creepy, man. Why is there a why is there a coffin down here? Two coffins. Like, wh I, why would a nursing home need coffins? Like, that's not something they would deal with. I don't know. That's just creepy. Whatever. Either way, it was a uh, it was a fusion core. So we got to unlock the door, which makes Piper happy with us, and we have a fusion core. All right, I think we're all set. Um, Piper, where are you? You around? I always lose you. Alright, well I'm gonna walk outside and crouch and then you'll you'll be on me like flies on a on a dead animal. I'm hidden, Piper. Piper. Piper, I'm hidden. There you are. Every single time. 
All right. Well, uh, yeah, like I said, we we're going to be making our way towards the uh, the east side of the map, but who knows uh, how close we'll actually get up there. Is that the one we were shooting at before? It is. Oh, how wonderful! Finally got the experience for that thing. I knew it'd pay off. All right, who else is around? Someone, someone's over here, but I'm not going to worry too much about it. Re-equipping Nancy. We're heading east. Come along, Piper. Right after I look at what this building is. Is this just a building you can climb on top of? Yeah, it's, it's quite caved in. Doesn't look to be anything of particular note in here. All right. Heading east. Now, what we're going to find, I have no idea. I really don't. Um, I know that there is... Yeah, there is water this way, and I, I'd rather not go through the water. For one, it's going to be radiated as all hell, and we would have to equip a hazmat suit to even get through it. And I'd rather not equip a hazmat suit, because that doesn't give me any protection. Those are Mirelurk eggs, aren't they? They have to be. Oh, God. Oh, God, Jesus! Scared the crap out of me. They're hatching. Hi, low buddies. That was fun. They don't actually have any meat on them. I wonder if the, uh, the mamas can smell the Mirelurk eggs. Because if they can, that could, in theory, pose a bit of a problem later on. But let's just pretend that it won't, and everything will be fine. Are there more Mirelark eggs in the, are there in all the sewers? No, we're not dealing with more hatchlings. We're moving on. God, the uh, the world is big. The world is very big. There's a lot to see. There's a lot to do. We're just going to continue to travel east. Hope everything works out. Looks like we have a bridge up here. Hopefully we will stay safe. Up flower. Okay, there's some stuff floating around in the water. What is that? Is it a tire or something? I don't know. As long as I don't have to deal with any Meyer lurks. I'd rather not do- oh, there's something. What's up there? Oh, a Stingwing. Yeah, I can deal with that. Hello, Stingwing! Does it know I'm here? It does not. Okay, trying to hit something like that is ridiculously difficult, and I should not bother. Come on, one more time. Gr Jones, Gr Jones. Shot it out of the sky. Fantastic. Why? Well, it's nice that it practiced good hygiene, because it was carrying a toothbrush. Come here. Alright, uh... So what is this thing? Is this another... This looks like a place where you would get a fusion core, but it's not. Continue to head east. We have a long journey ahead of us. What's this thing? What? Um... This works? Um... What's up there, though? That's... That's the question. Because there's... <sighs> what do you think, Piper? Should we go up? Is it risky? There's also a house over there with some fires. Alright, come here. Get on board. Hey. Hey. I'm not going up there and then getting ambushed without you, so get up here. Stick tight. You're not... <sighs> Screw it. Fine. Yeah, that's right. Have fun down there. Oh god, I hope I'm not just being delivered into the hands of enemies. Actually... Actually, it's not moving at all. Weird. There is no one up here. I'm gonna admit, that is not what I expected. Okay. There's a little bridge here, which, uh... I'm not really anxious to trust. And it's hard to tell how far that goes. 
I see you decided to join me, Piper. Anything over here? Oh my god, there's a plane here. The other question is, how far does this go? God, it looks like the Iron Giant in the background there. Because this is going to just drop off, isn't it? Okay, so yeah, we can't do this. We're just going to have to go back down. I was expecting at least somebody up here, but there, there's no one up here. There may be someone if you go the other direction. It also looks like you might be able to get on top of the... Uh, on top of the thing. Or is this where we came? Oh, this is where we... No, wait, no. No, this is different. Oh, hold on. There's some dead guys up here. Uh, I'll take your stuff. And I'll take your stuff. And I will gladly take your ammo. Is there anything else here? No, it doesn't look like it, but... What I could do is I could, uh, take a snooze. And I know it seems like a long time, but I'm gonna take a 12-hour snooze so it's 8 a.m. And, uh, I don't have to worry about this fog. There we go. Now, I don't get the well-rested bonus, because you only get that if you, um... If you sleep in your own bed. Is this thing still... chilling right here? I'm fine. Everything's fine. Piper, you coming? Yeah, you'll figure it out. All right, once again, we head east. So we took a little... Took a little nap halfway. Now, what I'm interested in at this point is that, uh... That house over there. Because there's a strange home just kind of sitting in the middle of nowhere, and it's... Hard to tell what... You know, treasures or horrors lie inside. This bush is blocking my path. <laughs> because of course it is. Is this a little... is this like a little town, or...? Oh yeah, there's something over there. There's some... Gr there's a group of homes on my map. Piper, get with it! Wait, what the...? Why are you down? Hey. Where to? Mm, time for some travel fuel. Want one? Um... Your thoughts? How did I ever travel without you, Blue? Oh, nothing. All right. Okay, I don't know why you're down, but there's a freaking radiation storm rolling in, which is fantastic. Even though we just slept. <sighs> Piper should be with me shortly. Five rads! Awesome! Alright, I'm gonna head to this, uh, this community and hope that there's a place I can sit, because then I could wait it out. And, uh, also hope that it's not... Oh, God. Oh, wait, it's green! It's friendly! It's friend- I don't know what this place is, but it's friendly. What- What is this place? What is this? Covenant. What is Covenant? You here visiting Covenant, pal? If not, move along. You know, I'm people loitering around. Not good for the nerves. Is that what this place is called? Yeah, we're a real up-and-comer. A pit stop on the road for traders and such. We're not that big, but we got the bargains. Got a doc that can patch you up? We even got some lemonade. Well, that's what Deezer calls it anyway. There's a small catch, though. We don't just let anyone inside. There's an entrance test. We call it the safe test. Everyone's got to take it. Interesting idea. Between you and me, what's the test for? I probably shouldn't say nothing, but listen. We want to make sure only good people come into Covenant. No undesirables. Nobody that ain't actually what they seem, you know? I'm new to the area. What do you mean about undesirables? But you don't know about... Jesus, listen. Not everyone in the Commonwealth is human, okay? Some are... Synths. I'm not gonna say anything more than that. Just take the test. You pass, and you can come inside where everything's safe. Alright? Uh... I guess. Take a seat, and we can begin. Um... Sure. Before I do that, I'm gonna I'm just gonna hit this thing and wait, because oh my god, there is some radiation going on. So let's do two hours. Um, I'm becoming a little concerned. You you need to be seated for the safe test. Them's the rules. Um, Piper. You need to be seated for the safe test. Them's the rules. Piper, is your new 
Just need you to take a Is your new walking animation just you down or something? Because this is, uh... Tests don't take long. Weird. You begin once you're seated. Alright, uh, I'm here, so I guess we're gonna take so this test. Begin. There ain't no wrong answers. You are approached by a frenzied scientist who yells, I'm going to put my quantum harmonizer in your photonic resonation chamber. What's your response? Uh... I wouldn't worry. If you did that, it'd cause parabolic destabilization of the fission singularity. Uh, yeah. Next question. While working as an intern in the clinic, a patient with a strange infection on his foot stumbles through the door. The infection is spreading at an alarming rate, but the doctor has stepped out for a while. What do you do? Hmm. Medicate the infected area as best I can. You have a medical background. You discover a young boy lost in a cave. He's hungry and frightened, but also appears to be in possession of stolen property. What do you do? I give the boy a hug and tell him everything will be okay. Very curious. Congratulations! Hey, you made it onto a baseball team. Which position do you prefer? Hmm. Designated hitter. Are you certain about that? Never mind. Next question. Your grandmother invites you to tea, but you're surprised when she gives you a pistol and orders you to kill someone. What do you do? I'd throw my tea in her face. Of course. Old Mr. Abernathy has locked himself in his quarters again, and you've been ordered to get him out. How do you proceed? I'd grab a bobby pin and pick the lock. And that is all you'd do? Nothing else? Wait, don't answer. Next. Oh no. <laughs> You've been exposed to radiation, and a mutated hand has grown out of your stomach. What's the best course of treatment? I'd cut off the mutated tissue with a precision laser. Technological bias. Hmm. A neighbor is in possession of a Grognak the Barbarian comic book, issue number one. You want it. What's the best way to obtain it? I'd trade him for one of the comic books I own. Hmm. You're almost done. Last question. You decide it would be fun to play a prank on your father. You enter his private restroom when no one is looking and... I'd put a firecracker in his toilet. <laughs> that never gets old. Test's over. No one's ever answered quite like you. But hey, you passed. I'll open up the gate. Always thought something was a bit off about Covenant. I mean, what good's an entry exam against Raiders? You should really not still be <laughs> laying down. That seems bad. You're confusing Swanson. Seriously, I wonder what the... What the heck is wrong here? Welcome to Covenant. Um, cool. You wanna go inside, Piper, or...? In. Penny's shop is usually the first stop. I have no idea how to handle this situation. Well, we're in a new place. Piper disliked that. What, did I went into Covenant? Well... Too bad. She won't even stand up right now, so what are you gonna do? Oh. Hi. McGovern? Tell you. Oh, I heard about you. You're the stranger. I make things. Things for the store. Oh, I'm Talia. It's so nice to meet you. What do you make? I make medical supplies. Oh, and guns. Scopes. And other things. You can see them for sale at Penny's store. You're gonna like it here. Everyone in Covenant is so friendly and really wants to help. Hmm. Why is everyone here so friendly? I don't know. I ask Mr. Orden. I'm much better with terminals than people. Feel free to use my tools. And if you need anything, just let me know. Uh... Sure. Someone's had too much coffee. Wish Piper was in here, but whatever. Caravan came a few days back. 
Worked for old man Stockton. You saw them, right? I already told you. I don't recollect. We get a lot of traffic. This isn't Diamond City. A caravan of five comes through, you'd remember. Then they must not have come through. Say, wouldn't you rather have a lemonade? My job here isn't drinking lemonade. I know for a fact they came here. Why the brush off? I want to help, mister, but I really don't recollect. Mark my words. I'll get to the bottom of this. You from around here? God, I hope not. I've had enough of these hicks. You have a problem with the people here? All the fake smiles and the fancy talking puts me on edge. The sooner I'm out of here, the better. You know anything about Stockton's caravan? A caravan? What are you talking about? I signed on with old man Stockton to find his lost caravan. What's left of it is just outside of town. The last stop was here, so I've been trying to put together the story. But I keep getting the runaround. Got a proposal for you. Help me find Stockton's people, and we split the reward. At least one survivor walked out of that massacre. And I intend to make good on my contract. Hmm. Who are we looking for? The big one is Stockton's daughter, Amelia. I didn't find any bodies of the feminine persuasion. So, uh, there's hope. If we find her, Stockton's offering a heap of caps. If I help you, I want something up front. If I have your word, you'll help. I'll chip in 50 caps now. That's above and beyond the deal. Sounds fair. I'm in. Here's all I got on the caravan. I don't got proof, but Covenant's involved. Somehow. I'll keep poking around, but let me know if you find anything. Human error. Search Covenant for clues, optional. Search destroyed caravan for clues, optional. Ask Dan about synths. Uh, hey. Hey, Dan. This whole place has got me on edge. I hope you found something on the caravan. People here are real sensitive about synths. What is a synth? You must be new around here. Synths are synthetic people made by the Institute. Real advanced machines. Might as well be human because no one can tell the difference between them and us. Everyone in the Commonwealth is afraid of synths and the Institute. But come to mention it, I've been here a long while and nobody's even breathed a word about them. That is odd. Hmm. So, what's the Institute? Ask three different people, you get three different answers to that. Wildly different. Most people believe the Institute's behind every manner of ill in the Commonwealth. Sister disappears, or you lose your Brahmin. The Institute. Settlement murdered in the middle of the night. The Institute. But I've never met a single person that has proof about any of that. But there's no denying synths are real enough. So the Institute's infiltrating us, and I doubt they're doing that for our own good. Do you have any other leads? No. If Covenant doesn't pan out, then I don't know where to start. Across that road if I have to. Do you have any proof Covenant is involved with the caravan? I got one thing. They deny up and down that Stockton's men ever came here. But they most certainly did. There's no reason to bald face lie to me if they're not hiding something. I'll keep poking around. Hmm. We'll talk later. Interesting. After a long day, nothing beats Deezer's lemonade. Hey, Deezer. Less rads, less mute fruit, same great taste. Try Deezer's lemonade. Uh. I'll take some. Enjoy. Deezer's lemonade. What does Deezer's lemonade do? If we go to aid, Deezer's lemonade, fifty HP. That's not bad. Hey, Deezer. Would you like some free lemonade? Can you just skip free lemonade forever? What's the catch? No tricks, no gimmicks, just the best lemonade in Covenant. Free to our special guests. I'm looking into a lost caravan. Can you help? You know what would be great for a lost caravan? Deezer's Lemonade! Voted best beverage in Covenant three years straight. What's in the lemonade? Jesus' lemonade is made of goodness. Four special ingredients from sunny, non-irradiated environments, all in one cold glass. Try it and enjoy, or take advantage of the money-back guarantee. I'll pass. You don't know what you're missing. 
Jesus Lemonade! It's Lemonade! This is a fun place. This is a weird place, but a fun place. Well, hello. Hey there. Well, hello, stranger. The name's Jacob, and I run this town. Glad you passed the test. Our door's always open to good quality people. You can use one of the beds in the guest house. And you should visit Penny's store. Hmm. Anything else in town? Doc Patricia will be more than happy to patch you up. For a modest fee, of course. You might want to stay clear of Mr. Dan. I've had some complaints about him. Hmm. Can I ask you some questions? Ask away. Does Covenant have a problem with synths? Shouldn't everyone have a problem with synths? But there's none of those things here. Rest assured. Do you know anything about a missing caravan? Is this about those Stockton people? I've told Mr. Dan many, many times. We never saw them. Dan says your people are lying to him. If you ask me, I think Dan's been baking in the sun too long. The only secret we've got here is what's in Deezer's lemonade. And if you can get Deezer to tell you, you just got to fill me in. As the robot says, it's delicious. I have to go. You have a good day. Thanks, Jacob. You are a little creepy. It's the third radio this month. Ted better get on this pronto. Another newcomer. Welcome, Mr. Fitzgerald. We don't tolerate violence or vulgarity. Steer clear of those, and we'll get along just fine. This place is really weird. Also, a master this level cell terminal. Means business. Huh. Interesting, uh, interesting place. There's a kitty cat. I, I still should see, uh, Penny. It's good to see a new face around here. Public terminal. Let's take a peek in here, shall we? Welcome! From a, beef, uh, from a brief rest to a long stay, we have everything you were looking for in Covenant. Located in the Central Commonwealth, we have easy access to the best and safest trade routes in the area. Our guest dormitories are spacious, well-appointed, and our friendly Mr. Handy even offers free lemonade. For large caravans, extra sleeping bags can be provided on request. Just talk with Mr. Fitzgerald. We hope you enjoy your stay here as much as we enjoy having you. Covenant History we're a young community formed by like-minded individuals dedicated to restoring a quality of life that's uh, been gone for too many years. Our secret ingredients are a shared vision, hard work, and old-fashioned hospitality. Since the walls have come up, we've hosted more and more traders. Our store offers a wide variety of trade goods at rock bottom prices. If you find it cheaper elsewhere, let us know and we'll beat it. Tell your friends. And the safe test. We often get asked about the safe test. What is it? Why is it necessary? Your safety and ours is our number one concern here. And the safe test is how we maintain it. The test was designed by some of the old, old world's greatest minds to get a detailed uh, psychological profile of its participants. People fail the test for all sorts of reasons. Antisocial tendencies, vulgarity, and mental uh, health, to name a few. Often they'd be just fine if we let them in. Uh, but we're extra cautious to ensure that only good quality folk like yourself get to enjoy the comforts of Covenant. Remember, it's all for your safety. This place is creepy. So, so creepy. Uh, anyway... Okay, can I have this desk pan? Uh, free bubble gum? Wow, you shouldn't have. Let's, uh, let's continue to look around and see what else we find here. There's still two more buildings we haven't gone into. People that break our rules are asked to leave. Rarely happens. Anything else like hiding around? No. Let's see, can we go in the front door of this place? No, it's locked. Okay, um... This place is open, though. The, uh, the leg's still on the mend. You have anything for the pain? Well, do ya? Man, you took that as shot like a you champ. Need the meds, you gotta lay off. Understood? Any other complications with the injury? It's healing up pretty good. Off you go, then. Thanks, Doc. If you're hurting, just tell the doctor. Hey there. Yeah? One day Covenant is going to be as You lost subtitles. Let's talk to you. What's new, Doc? If you want rumors, then Penny's the girl for you. I like to stick to fixing people. It's what I'm good at. Hmm. Patch me up, Doc. Now go over your symptoms for me. 
one at a time. I guess I could cure my rads, but I also have meat for that. Uh, never mind. On your way, then. So, Penny, you're who I want to talk Enjoy to. Enjoy your stay. Excuse me. I hope Swanson didn't give you too hard a time at the gate. If you ask me, I think he takes his job too seriously. But welcome. Everyone around here calls me Mrs. Fitzgerald. But you, cutie, can call me Penny. What do you do around here? A bit of everything. I try to leave some things for the men folk to do. You know, so they feel in charge. You here to shop? I'll make sure to give you a good price. Hmm. Do you have time for a few questions? For you? Hmm, <laughs> certainly. Does Covenant have some sort of problem with synths? Thank God we don't. None of those machines are in here. People here are really friendly. Why is that? Everyone that passes the test is welcome to visit. But we are particular on who can live here. And having a positive attitude is important to us. Hmm. The town looks really nice. How'd you manage that? Oh, thank you for noticing. Well, the menfolk would say good old-fashioned elbow grease keeps Covenant as the prettiest place in the Commonwealth. But between you and me, I think shrewd trading may play a big part. <laughs> Do you know anything about a missing caravan? You've been talking to Mr. Dan. I don't know what he's carrying on about. He's just stirring the pot, if you ask me. Why would he do that? Some people are just jealous when they see others leading a better life. And they'd like nothing better than to drag everyone down to their level. And Dan thinks he's the one helping people. He wouldn't know the first thing about making the Commonwealth a better, safer place. Hmm. Bother her up. Uh, he should be thankful you let him in. Instead, he stomps around interrogating people. If the compound did do something to his precious caravan, they had reasons for it. Better reasons than a man like him. Hmm. You know, honey, I... I was just shooting off at the mouth. Just forget anything I said about that and the compound. I have to go. Huh. Compound. Penny. You here to shop? If not, I'm sure you've got places to go and all. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed your stay. Do you have time for a few questions? Well, I don't know. I'm awfully busy. Make it quick. Could you tell me anything about the compound? Compound? Who said anything about a compound? <laughs> you know what? I, I really am very busy. Huh. Do they, do Hello, they all stranger. know? You got anything that ails you? I'll fix you up for a fee. I don't know if everyone knows. Yo, Dan. I got some information. I'm, something. I'm sure of it. Hey, Dan. This whole place has got me on edge. I hope you found something on the caravan. I found out about a compound. The caravan survivors may be there. Great. Now we just need to find it. If anyone would know where this compound is, it'd be Jacob. He runs this town. But he doesn't have the best memory. I saw him once reading a slip of paper while entering his password. Maybe you can find that. Hmm. We'll talk later. This is getting interesting. While while we were on our way to do Out of the Fire, uh, we have since gotten started on Human Error. So I guess that's what we're going to continue taking care of next time. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time for more Stephen Plays Fallout 4.